Hey, I'm uh, I found out that this Senator armor here was not bad for a piercing setup with ranged weaponry. Yes, the, the Senator is actually really good for Blade Master and Gunners, but especially for piercing, which is one of uh, the gun's big assets. Yeah, so uh, here's a quick rundown of the skills Pierce Up is for both the bow and the bow gun, so I do more damage with piercing shots. The uh, Pierce S level 1, if it I can't use level 1 Pierce shots, then now I can. That's basically how it is. And the shell deviation down, well, I can shoot longer uh, longer distances before the shell starts to go to the side or deviate from its path. Basically just makes your bow gun more accurate. Yeah. Um, I think it also goes for arrows too that the... Uh, it helps the arc a little, maybe. Uh, maybe. I don't I think, think arrows never really deviate. Uh, but to get the pierce... The, the pierce level 1 thing, I had to decorate it and also decorate to make sure I have defense so uh, I, I don't have the negative defense. Um, and yeah, I made Dora into a nice bow gun. <laughs> Not a bad bow gun, actually. A really good one for heavy bow guns. You can put a nice power barrel on it. Yeah, the uh, the elders usually make pretty, if not the best weapons, they make decent ones. They're usually pretty usable mm -hmm. for, for all weapons. This again is like a pierce shot specialized one, so that's why it goes good with this gear. Though, uh, admittedly, if it had been because I wanted to just show off the power barrel, I uh, would have used the shield. The shield would have been really nice for Gravios. <laughs> yeah, the the shield the shield is always just very nice. Um, I'll explain when we get to when why the shield would be really pretty. But yeah, I made sure to bring lots of types of pierce ammo in case I ever run out because I don't know didn't know how much uh, ammo I'd be using. And I even brought some crag and cluster with me just to, you know, demonstrate and show it off. Since I haven't shown those ammo types off. Yeah, Pierce is like the... It's always, always been my go-to for, for bow gunning. It's just... Well, it depends on how big the monster is. If you Pierce is not great if you're going to use it against Kirin. Right. But if you have this mon huge monster like a uh, Gravios... The pierce is gonna deal a lot of damage. Right, anything I do end up fighting with a bow gun is usually pretty large as to justify it. Mm -hmm. Don't don't ask me why I accidentally picked up the pellet shots and accidentally loaded the pellet shot. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, what are you gonna do with pe ten pellet shots <laughs> and level one pellet shots at that? Yeah, it's like here, here have uh, here's a couple damages, just like one or two maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll lie. <laughs> Who's a good Gravios? I'm tickling you with the pellet shots. And you see Gravios chowing down on minerals. Yep, that's just, what they just eat. eating some rocks. That's what they eat. That's why their babies, Basaros, look like big rocks as camel. Delicious. And here's the big difference between uh, the mama and the baby. They will actually have an explosive uh, air effect. Oh yeah, that's why I was using pellets. That's right, because it's easier to hit the barrel bombs with a pellet. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Yeah, the bombs are pretty easy to hit because you don't even have to hit them. You just like aim in the general direction. Yeah, but I figured you know it'd be easy. Then I didn't even really have to aim. Then I'd be sure. I didn't. But yeah, see, that's what the cluster does. It's like a little cluster bomb. I think they also deal sonic attacks as well, or is that crank? Um, hmm. I don't remember. I think it's just Crag. It was the sonic effect. Yeah, Crag is a miniature time bomb that you stick onto an enemy. Yeah, so it's particularly. Crag comes in particular usefulness for, um, Plesioth or Sapphodrome, something like that, where if they're swimming around in the sand or the water, you can nail them with a Crag shot. Oh, yeah. And then, since it has the sonic effect, it'll blast them out of it. The worst is, though, if that is that is what kills them, and then you can't get to the body. Yes, there is that. 
that's the only downside of ranged weaponry against uh, Plesioth and such. And yeah, he yep. just wanders right through the lava. Jerk. Oh, he, he is made of rock. I think he can just ignore that. Pretty much swims around in the stuff. But, uh, good. no, let's, let's go for the good old-fashioned Pierce. I can have a lot of Pierce shot, though. That's normal three. That's right, that's right. I'm using normal three. Because in this area, there's lots of senators. And they will trip you up and screw you over. Normal three, this is actually a good choice for normal three. Because it doesn't do well on its first hit. But with a large monster like Gravios... When it ricochets is when it really makes this uh, damage worthwhile. Wait, um, you might want to you might want to explain this to me and others. Uh, so how does normal S work? I thought it's just right, a so, regular shot. So with normal one and normal two, mm -hmm. it just it impacts once and that's the damage that it does. Okay. So normal two ends up being some of the highest DPS shots you can use. <laughs> Whereas with normal three. It hits and it does less damage than normal two, but more than normal one. Uh, but after that shot, it ricochets and it hits somewhere else. And I think it might ricochet again, but I don't, I don't really remember. I never used it that much. Ah. But um, on the second hit, you uh, it does more damage than normal two, I believe. Yeah, I could definitely see how that could uh, be effective against a big monster like that. Right, so if you pay attention in the video, you'll see where when you use normal three, it'll hit the monster, and then it'll yeah, I, I noticed it's you'll, a little you'll watch the shot bounce off. So yeah. then you'd want to, for example, aim for the legs so it ricochets up into the body or the wings. Yes, because that's that's the only time it's actually doing the most amount of damage. Hmm. Actually, Unf that's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a really neat mechanic, but unfortunately, it's, it's kind of hard to use... It. Well, it's not useful against everything, but also it's, just, it's very hard to predict the uh, the pattern that the ricochet is going to follow. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the reason why I said the shield would be really great for this is because then I don't need to dodge every time he charges. Yes, very much so. And the <laughs> only thing you really have... Gravios, Basaros are pretty uh, ranged-friendly fights because... They have their little gas clouds that they do, and you don't have to worry anything about that if you're ranged. The only thing you have to worry about is it's, uh, I'm charging up my laser attack. Yes, and with, with normal Gravios on low, low rank, it's not even a huge deal, because he just shoots straight the whole time. Yeah, in high rank, he'll start, like, arcing his shots, and, like, uh, uh, panning his shots from left to right. Yeah, that, that damn sweep laser is just awful. Yeah, it gets me every single time. Uh, and I'm mainly aiming for the chest because I know that's the only break I'll get. There's two breaks in the chest, and there's a tail cut, but the tail cuts are not realistic to get unless, for example, you're bringing a good old-fashioned fencing set. I know I keep mentioning this fencing, but it's really great. <laughs> yeah, Fencing is definitely pretty awesome. It's, it's basically the go-to armor skill if you're having trouble with bouncing. Which is almost on every monster. So if you're doing it right, with um, if you really know what you're doing, you can get away with not ever using fencing. Yeah. If you just, if you just keep on... It, a sweet spot, but it that requires you to really know the monsters' patterns inside and out. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's certain monsters which are pretty easy to do it with, but there's others that are you want to break a certain part of their body, and unless you're bringing something that has a really high sharpness or fencing, you're not gonna break that part. Right. So, like like as you were saying, with Basarios's tail or Gravios's tail, you're not gonna break it unless you bring a piercing set or, or a, a, a great sword a and charge set. it up all the way, and you're lucky enough to get a few hits on, or just waste lots of shock traps and do nothing but the tail hits. Right. Well, so it'll still take you a very long time because you're bouncing, mm -hmm. which means you're not doing very much damage. That's why I'm saving, like I told you, tail breaks for another video when I get fencing. I already got the best that that. Sorry, Death Stead set, which does have fencing. The first set that has it. I got really lucky 
with uh, sending the cat out to get the what's it called? Sister Claus. Yes. And they're a pain to get when you can only send them for 300 points. The best way to get them is 500 points to the desert. Quite. Or just locking out on the secret area. That requires high rank. Yeah. Unfortunately. Actually, that's something I'm going to see if I can't show off the secret areas uh, in high rank. Uh, that should it's be. Just luck. Really. No, I mean, if you, um. If you get the feline skill, it's not too bad. Ah, oh, well, that's right, there's a feline skill. I actually might get a uh, chef that has that, and then I'll just keep the. Uh, then I'll switch that chef in real quick, and then just keep going until I, uh. I can get that. But, you know, I'm gonna try to see if I can show each, uh, area's secret area. But, you know, more about that when I actually get to it, I guess. Yep. And there's actually a couple of them that look pretty neat, though. I will say that much. And. Buff cat, oh, best choice ever for this mission. <laughs> Got a true health flute, demon flute, and a armor skin flute. <laughs> and and the, that's the thing, I don't really want him attacking either, because he's just going to get killed. Yeah. Yeah, buff cats I found are uh, usually the most helpful. Yeah, mainly just because they up your damage, keep you alive, and they don't get themselves killed very often. Though they still have the... even though it says that they're... let's just say you get a pacifist cat. They will still run up to monsters and circle around them as if they're trying to attack. Ooh. Yeah, never look away from a Gravios, because he is uh, aiming at you. Oh. And look at how much health you lose from that, too. Yeah, the beam, especially in gunner armor, the beam is not very useful. <laughs> it's not, actually, the I remember the very first time I fought a uh, a black Gravios. Oh, those are pain to fight in melee since they every single time they do a move, they do the little area of effect around them. Yeah, it it was a train wreck. What happened was um because. It was me and my friend have never fought, have never played Monster Hunter before, so this is our first time fighting a Black Gravios. Ooh. Actually, there's, there's three of us who never, who had never fought Black, wait, no, I'm sorry. There's two of us that had never fought Black Gravios before. Yeah. And what had happened was, we had four people in the mission. One person went uh, AFK because he had an important phone call or something. And he, he had actually zoned to a different map. Mm -hmm. But when he did it, like, I think the crabs hit him back into the map where Black Carabios oh, was. Oh, no! So, um, Gravios kills him by, I think he just, like, charges into him and then tail whips and he's dead. And then he turns around and beams my friend, who's a gunner, so he has no defense. And his beam beams him and kills him in one shot. And then he turns to me, and he charges at me, and I'm standing next to a wall. Oh, no. So instead of being able to dodge him, I, I, I try to roll, but he just he slides with the wall and kills me. And the entire fight was over in, in about 10 seconds. That's, that's Monster Hunter for you. Yeah, and my other friend, my other friend who was, like, totally geared out, and he even had taunt. He, he had the negative effect for sneak on. And he was just standing there being like, Why aren't you attacking me, Gravios? Like, because why? Because killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we, we failed the mission just in, in about like 10 15 seconds because he just, he just killed everyone. So I should probably explain about the chest breaks. He has two chest breaks. Each time it breaks, he, you deal more and more damage to him when you attack the chest where it's broken. Uh, flesh is exposed. So I, I thought I just it. yeah. Uh, that actually comes. That's very important later for uh, for white gravios. It's not as big a deal. Black gravios. But, is. Yeah, with black gravios, he just because he's even more armored up than white gravios. Mm -hmm. He just takes no damage on any other part of his body. Not to mention so, that you're even with a black gravios. White Gravios with melee attacks, you won't bounce on his chest. Black Gravios, you will bounce on his chest with a melee weapon. 
Yeah, you just, Black Gravity used to bounce on everything, so you have to break his chest just to even be able to do anything. normal damage to him. It's ridiculous. I, of course, I have a cut land, so uh, that makes it a little easier. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, there's always that, I guess. But Black Gravity is, is a pain to fight in melee because... You oh. just bounce on everything and deal yeah, no damage. Yeah, people will see, actually see the train wreck over here. Uh, yes. That, that'll, that'll be fun to watch. Oh, it's going to be so painful for me to watch. But, uh, again, if you, you're using a ranged weapon, the Gravios isn't really that bad of a fight. I, I really highly recommend... I would actually highly recommend a regular bow with Pierce. Yes, any any ranged weapon is pierce, and Gravios becomes infinitely easier. Well, I was thinking uh, the bow, since you can run around with charged shots, and uh, you have a lot of mobility, so you can avoid yes. the uh, lasers pretty easily. Yeah, that, de that definitely helps a lot. Mm -hmm. So the bow is, in my opinion, is probably the better choice. The light bow gun, probably also pretty good choice. I actually end up using the heavy bow gun for damage, mm -hmm. but uh, to be fair, I've also got a lot of experience, so I'm a little bit better. If you're just starting out, bow is probably your yeah. way to go. Yeah, and, uh, this this is actually pretty good rewards. Uh, why I'm saying this is because the reward drops are only going to get worse as the videos go on. Oh yes, I hope you don't need to make anything with Gravio's brain stems. I do. Yeah, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah. That's so, so bad. <laughs> oh, but that's the end of that video, and uh, we'll uh, both see you in the next video. <laughs> yes, until then. Indeed.